Your Toyota BC dealers presents BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. With your host, Mike Mitchell. BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala, Kingfisher, Yamaha, and the Pacific Salmon Foundation. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. I'm your host, Mike Mitchell. Today we're fishing with Brian Chan. Brian, welcome to the show again. Great to be on the water again with you, Mike. Yeah. So as you can see, folks, we're uh, dressed a little differently than we have in most of the season <laughs> so far. We're in for some a real mixed bag of weather today, aren't we? I got my waders on. I even got boots on. <laughs> I like, this is something. I'm usually wearing shorts and a jacket yeah, exactly. at most. Exactly. But I think we're gonna get we're gonna get a little wet maybe yeah. and. Uh, but right now it looks looks okay. But it's we just know it's coming, so we're gonna be prepared when we head on the water. But. Yeah. Speaking of on the water, whereabouts are we? So we're on Dragon Lake, which is within the city limits of uh, Quinnell, yep. about a seven and a half hour drive from the greater Vancouver area. Yep, great. And we're targeting what today? It's rainbows and uh, both blackwater and uh, panache strains of rainbow trout. And I've heard some rumors that this fishery is quite good. There's some decent sized fish. No, this is a superb fishery, yeah. recreational fishery, one of the most uh, popular uh, trout fisheries in the province, and they grow big. Awesome. Well. Uh, we can sit here and talk, or we can go out and catch fish while it's still nice out. Uh, I think it's a good idea, Mike. All right, let's go. Well, that was quick. Mike. Rain died down a little bit there, Brian, for us, and uh, you hook a fish. Where'd you get that on, Brian? Oh, oh that's a beautiful fish. got a little, fish. Oh, a little uh, yellow and orange uh, blob. Yeah. Oh, Real bright little plant. One of your That's favorites. Nice fish, Mike. Yeah, See it? Gorgeous, yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, and then my oh, indicator my just went under. <laughs> uh, make sure that rod's... Yeah, I'm going to loosen the drag off here and give it some slack. That's terrible. Perfect fall fishing. Yeah. Uh, just a little inclement weather. Yeah, this is the reality, really, of, of fishing yeah. sometimes oh, in the, the fall, right? Yeah, but we're going to catch, we're going to see some nice fish. Yeah. That's that's why we're here. We made the run up from our officer and mission yesterday, and we're staying at uh, Robert's Roost there. The people up there, Kevin and his wife, put us up for a couple of days, and staying in some luxury trailers. Although, yeah, not uh, bad. I'm impressed the way you know you did that last year. Chimney, I know. I know. They even got better this year. Well, the guys at uh, the guys at Chimo, their RV that set us up, just lent us the trailers. Or just, I just sent a quick email, and they're like, "Yeah, no problem. Where, when, when, where, and how many?" Yeah. And they gave us three, and then the, the one I'm in is the penthouse, yeah. but that's where we're doing all our cooking card, and card playing and heated. cooking out of yeah, and the heat. <laughs> we needed the heat last night, that's for sure. Water temperature right now is 57. 57. Fahrenheit. So fish are starting to get happy. Just starting to get happy. Yeah. yeah. It's a gorgeous fish, Brian. That is a big, that's a nice fish. Oh, there's a beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. That's well, a, I'd say that's a male, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'd say you're right, Mike. <laughs> yeah, so we're here, we've got a blackwater male, blackwater gorgeous. rainbow trout male. And, and I know if we pumped it, Mike, it'd be full of Daphnia, zooplankton. Yeah. That's what's their staple diet this time of year. But and you could tell it's a male, Brian, just yeah, by the, the mouth, yeah, really, the right? Tight, the mouth little expands. button and yeah. extended point on this lower lip. Yeah. yeah. So this guy is uh, maturing. It's going to go up the creek next spring, yeah. but it's in good shape. Good fish. He's gone. <laughs> All right, let's get another one. A little guy here, Mike. But that's not, that's not just bad a little. Just a porker. Yeah. Just a, a really well-conditioned fish. By their well. This is such a productive lake. Yeah. It's just, it's a fly fishing haven, this lake. Yeah, very So there, Brian, are there wild fish in this, in this lake yeah, as well? Yeah, there's, there's a, an inlet creek that, uh, that fish can go up and spawn naturally. And yeah. as well, the society takes uh, up to a million and a half blackwater eggs every spring out of here. Oh, wow. So basically Dragon Lake is the source for 
our black water rainbows that we stock throughout the province, whether okay. they're diploid, triploid, or all female triploided. Yep. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a pretty valuable lake for us, and as well, it's one of the best recreational fisheries in the province. It's got probably, this lake's probably got the best chronomid hatches of anywhere. Really? In the spring, yeah, no, it's it's a mecca for for chronomid fishermen. And so you guys have, you guys have uh, stocked panask in here as well? Yeah, there's panask in here as well as blackwater, so a lot of the fish are clipped. Yeah. Um, so we can tell them apart uh, when we're taking eggs. But I'll try to... Hold How's the water up. feel in your hands? I know, it's cold. There, but that's a well-conditioned fish. Gorgeous. Oh, he doesn't like being held. I'll let him go. Let him go, there he goes. Perfect. Well, maybe I should hook something now. What do you think? Yep. I haven't really put my line in the water. I, just I know, you always give me that little... I've been practicing my casting. You always, I know you're so kind, you know, you just, it's like a father and son thing. You let your dad like have first dibs thing. at things. That's fine. What's, it, what's that? <laughs> <laughs>older guys in the boat catch first fish i know you always do that i know and i'll You're sneak so kind. in here sneak in here and maybe get a good one here this feels like a good fish though so again dragon lake second spot we fished we fished yeah. over there and it kind of got it got good for you there for a while oh it's a it's a food factory it's yeah i mean mean depth of less than 17 feet it's only got one little one little hole in the lake that's like 25 28 feet and that's really? it andy Andy Snedden, who built the rods for us, took him out. We took him out with our Peter Hope shoot there this year. Yeah. He was correcting me on proper technique of holding your rods because I was <laughs> holding it up here. He's like, touch the cork and that's it. So yeah. I'm sure no, if I, if he sees me touching anything but the cork, he's going to slap my hand. <laughs> here, I'll just whack you with the net. How's yeah. that? Oh, yeah, nice fish. He's just not ready yet. Boy. Some fight left in him. That is a good fish. Nice. Gorgeous fish. Oh, Whoa. you got a fish on there. I got one. <laughs> Double header. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> How is that? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, buddy. That's okay. Roll. I've never, I've never seen this ever happen with. I've never seen a fish take a, a booby like that. Static. You know. Well, it's floating off the bottom, just yeah. hanging in there. Yeah. Oh, you got a little bit. I can get him. Okay, I got him. So his, he's coming in. Get, get. Oh, I had him turned. That's a nice fish too, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> two fish in one net. Fall colors. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I, I think mine's the bigger one there. Uh, I'll concede that, Mike. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Right, flies <laughs> out on one of them already. <laughs> Pull your minnow out of there, Brian. I'll leave I my know. guy in there if you can. Beautiful looking fish. Oh, my hands are frozen. I, I can't know, hurt. What I can't even... when you catch all the fish all day. I was smart. I can't feel the fly. Okay. All right. Notice you're not volunteering. You want to hold your gut? No, fish? that's fine. You're down there. I'm just gonna get my. I just gotta get my line <laughs> okay, out. Okay, I'm gonna hold Mike's bigger fish up first. <laughs> I just get my my line out of the way here. Just, uh, Let him go. Oh, there you go. Swims oh, look off. at the little guy. Yeah, it's okay. That's a nice <laughs> fish though, too. There you go. Perfect. All right. Well, double header. That's great. It's pretty good, eh? I got my shirt wet, and that's oh, worth it. It's good. <laughs> it's worth it. All right. Well, let's go catch some more here, anyway. Learning with the pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. 
Hi, my name is Don Peterson. I'm the president of the Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC. And I'd like to encourage all the viewers to visit our website, gofishbc.com. The website is a great source of information uh, to help improve your next fishing experience. We have a section of the website called uh, Tips and Tricks, and which includes dozens of high quality videos explaining various fishing techniques we have another section of the website called Where to Fish, which is a map-based uh, program which has all of the lakes in the province uh, stocked on, uh, on various regional maps. We also have a section on our stocking reports, which is in fact our most popular, uh, the most popular portion of the website because of the, all of the 800 lakes that the Society stocks each year are uh, recorded on that site and you can get up-to-date information on which fish were stocked, when and at what size. Uh, finally, uh, we also have a section of the report that explains all the various fish species and some of the science behind our very successful stocking program. For more information about the Freshwater Fishery Society, please visit our website, gofishbc.com. And for further information, please uh, visit bcoutdoorsmagazine.com. There's one. There we go. Oh, nice after lunch fish. Yeah. Mike. First, first cast. Oh, I got a double header here. <laughs> behind the boat here. What do you got there, Mike? I got a little double header action here. Yeah. It's first cast. You can see why this lake is so popular. Yeah. Particular in the spring. Yeah. It's a phenomenal chronic yeah. fishery. He's not a big fish, bro. How's yours? Oh, it's a nice one. Okay, you can deal with yours. Okay, you That's a good fish, Brian. That's a nice one. Yeah. All right, one in the bag. My, my fly's out. And here comes Mike's. Oh. I tried to knock him off, you know. I know. There you go, double header. So what are what are most of the fish, what are they eating right now? Yeah, normally this time of year, we, we can actually pump one, but it'll either have zooplankton in it or uh, shrimp, but most likely zooplankton and juvenile yeah. okay. downs of fly nymphs. Yeah, okay. So we'll have a quick look. I'll, I'll, we'll pump the bigger one. Sure. Which happens to be yours this Which time. Which happens to be mine. This I mean, time. I mean, yours is nothing too shabby. No, I know. I notice I'm the one that... Hey, got your hands wet. Getting the... Yeah, it's good for you. So well, there's Mike's, nice little black water. Nice fish. There. And I'll just do a quick, I'll just grab my pump. Okay, let me just get this out of the way here. See how Mike, he, you know, I'm doing all the... Well, I just want to clear my line. I didn't want anybody getting stuck with the hook. Clear so. my line. I've heard... I'm right here. Okay, I'm, I'm just focused take a on quick what, look. Focused on what you're doing now. Oh. And we'll just hold this guy, have a quick look at that. Beautiful. That's a good fish. Beautiful. Yeah, look at Rainbow. the size of that. Let him go. Healthy fish. Nice shape. They're in great shape. Yeah. So I'm just going to put this in my... So you're not thinking as much. Oh. Oh. Shrimp. Look at that. Ja uh, baby oh. damsels. Oh. See them? Yeah. Juveniles. Interesting. Huh. That's what they got them. There's the odd zooplankton in there as well. Cool. Okay, well. Catch another one? That says back fishing to me. Do you guide or have a lodge that would like to host BC Outdoor Sport Fishing? Drop us a line at info at mountainviewproductions.ca. There's more BC Outdoor Sport Fishing right after this break. Let's get back on the water with BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Oh, this is a good fish. <laughs> two casts, two fish. 
I didn't even get a chance to get my line back uh, out there. I said I needed to get mine out of the way because I was worried about your hands getting hooked with these flies. They're everywhere, right? I just didn't want to hurt you. That's all it was. Now you're fishing. You're not even concerned about my fish. You're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, give me the net then. <laughs> Grumpy old man. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> I'll net them. I'll net them. I'll never hear the end of it. Wow, he's got a good, he's strong fish. You might as well strip in for a sec here. He's not ready yet. Oh, he's taking some line here. It's great. Where's he going? Wherever he wants. I'm just letting him go. That's the great thing about these 10 foot rods. It just. Oh, yeah. They're very forgiving. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. He's in the weeds. Here's out. Perfect. So, Brian, what's access points on this lake? What we're staying at Roberts Roost here, which yeah. is a beautiful, beautiful Green spot here. Park. Yeah. yeah. And, so there's um, also a, a major uh, public boat launch on the north side of the lake. Yeah. Uh, good. Uh, I think it's partly paved the boat launch, but lots of room for parking. Yep. There's also um, numerous uh, day use. Uh, access sites that come down to the lake yeah. through the subdivisions. Yep. And there's also a small, uh, uh, another small private campground in Legion Bay okay. on the lake as well. So there's good access to the lake. Yeah, very good. And there's a provincial park nearby as well on 10 Mile Lake, yeah. just uh, a few minutes north. So of, if guys you know, want to camp there, yeah. then and, they can make day, day trip to, out of here. Yeah, that's a great idea. Or like I said, Robert's Roost is... Yeah. But Robert's Roost has got everything yeah. right there. I'm really not trying to baby this guy. The rod bent right in half. See how he just. <laughs> <laughs> Good net job. I'll get my hands wet. Yeah, Mike. Jeez, Marie. All right. Yeah. Nice hook right in the side of the right side of the mouth. Pop that out with my hand. That's even better. Beautiful, Come Mike. On. Real quick shot there. And now, here are all the secrets of our tackle and gear. Hello folks, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the gear that we've been using on today's episode, also known as the secrets. <laughs> hey? All right. <laughs> so we started out today, we we're fishing primarily 10 foot rods uh, and we're using the new brand new MHX fly rods and these are built by Andy Snedden over at Custom Rod Builders out of Victoria. Great rods. A lot of, a lot Matched of bent Matched up to well it. with your lines. Yeah. Reels, of course, are Islander, uh, Islander LX 3.2s, 3.4s as yeah. well. And then on the, we, we used a very variety of different flies, so we went with different lines. But this one happens to be the Corton Clear Camo and a five weight, and we're using those with uh, boobies and leeches even, yep. and and that some other attractor patterns, right? So again, so we can talk a bit about the other, the rest of the setup here. Yeah. So Brian. we did uh, just for flies. We did fish a lot of attractor. UK attractor patterns like uh, different colored boobies, orange ones, yellow yeah. ones, green ones. And when and when we're using those boobies on on a sinking line, we're using a short yep. short leader, four foot. Yeah, with kind of a heavier pound test because they tend to really yep. you're going to snap off if you're using four X or yeah. you know below that. So That's you're right. going to need you need something like a stout leader on there too. Yeah, and then we uh, also did well on olive green and so like green olive green pumpkin head yeah. with a hot orange bead. Yeah, and then we. we also caught fish under the indicator using ruby eyed leeches. Yeah. Got a few on that. And then a black micro leech under the indicator was, was effective as well. Great. And then we used uh, either four, six or even eight pounds suffix to, uh, depending on what, what pattern we're yeah, using. Yeah, exactly. And then today we got, a, we got the pleasure of fishing out of your G3 today and the great boat. It's beautiful setup and stuff like well, that. It's, it's clean. It's, it's simple. Good. Yep. No clutter. And I guess probably, I don't know about you, but I think the biggest asset to this trip was the delivery of coffee by Bob Taylor out on the <laughs> lake yesterday. <Yeah. laughs> that kind of broadens everybody's spirits up. It was awesome. So thanks, Bob. It was great. And you but, can only do that on Dragon Lake. No, it was perfect. So again, folks, these are some of the things that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, grab your notepad and we'll follow up with a quick list for you. All tackle and gear is available at Steveston Marine and Hardware. Finally got a good one on here, Brian. 
and uh, what uh, who put the fly on well, uh, well this time i guess he felt guilty enough to put a hook on the end of the fly instead of just a pencil hey it's a nice fish <laughs> and it was the first flip uh, second 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 cast that was a good take though you pulled the rod out of my hand Strong, healthy fish. He's doing his own thing. He's laid up on the side of it there now. This fish will be worth it when we get it in. We'll show you the beautiful fall colors on this rainbow here. I'm going to play him off the reel here. All right. That's it. It's as big as I thought he was going to be. Still a good fish. It's a very nice fish. Beautiful rainbow. Beautiful trout. Nice black water. Dragon Lake fish. He's ready to go right away. Look at that gone. Right down to the depths. Well, it's a nice fish. <laughs> Great morning fish. <laughs> Beautiful right. day. Can't ask for more. No. A little bit better. The weather, second day is always today seemed to be a little bit better for us. So yeah. it's kind of nice. And yeah. A little warmer. And it's not raining. No. No. Yeah, so it's good. <laughs> Unfortunately, we got to make our right way home. We've had a great uh, day and a half, two days up here fishing, and it's been so much fun as usual. Yeah. They introduced us to a couple different techniques. Yeah. And uh, kind of got away from the indicators a little bit. And we did. Stripping. It's always exciting it when they pull back on you, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been good. But, uh, you know, thank you again yeah. for coming up, and we'll, I'm sure, good we'll to get out, mate. sure we'll do it again soon. I am. That's good. Thank you, folks, for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Look forward to having you join us on a future episode. Stay tuned during the credits. We're going to answer some of your questions that were sent in via Facebook and Twitter. Your Toyota BC dealers proudly present BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Made possible by Rapala. Crafted from experience. Yamaha. What kind of Yamaha are you? Kingfisher. Fish the good times. The Pacific Salmon Foundation. Bringing them back stream by stream. Port Boathouse our official servicing dealership, along with... So we got a, a question sent in via Facebook by Glenn, and Glenn's question was, uh, when are attractive patterns more successful, the spring or the fall? I think overall, attractive patterns uh, would be more effective early in the fall period mm -hmm. rather than the spring, because there are no hatches coming up in the fall, and so stripping, fast stripping, woolly buggers, egg-sucking leeches, flashy flies, will at least tell you where the fish are in the lake. Great. Folks, make sure you send in your questions. We'll be sure to answer them on a future episode as well.